When bonds are sold between interest payment dates, a problem arises. The bond indenture is going to require the issuing company to pay a full six months interest every June 30th and every December 31st. But if the bonds are not issued until May 1st, then they'll have only been outstanding through two months as of June 30th. But our corporation is going to be required to pay a full six months interest, $3,000, on June 30th. If we're paying $3,000 every six months, then interest is accruing at the rate of $500 per month. And in the four months leading up to the issuance of the bonds, $2,000 of interest would have accrued. Our bondholders, though, should only receive interest for May and for June. And at $500 a month, that would be $1,000. However, the corporation is required to pay all $3,000 on June 30th. How do we resolve this problem? When bonds are sold between interest payment dates, they are sold with accrued interest. The buyer pays the market value of the bonds, $96,000 in this case, along with the accrued interest, $2,000. So the credit to cash to record the purchase would now be for $98,000. But the investment account is debited for the market value of the bonds, and that's what's reported as the carrying value on the balance sheet. The remaining $2,000 debit goes to the interest revenue account. And this may not make sense to you at all, but if we consider the effect when cash is received on June 30th, then I think it will make sense. If we debit the interest revenue account, then we're placing a non-normal debit into the interest revenue account. On June 30th, when the cash is received and we credit interest revenue, then the credit is for all six months interest but four months worth of interest have been placed in interest revenue as a debit. So net, we're going to wind up with a balance in interest revenue that is equal to just two months interest, namely $1,000. In effect, what's happened is the issuing corporation gave the investor $3,000, but the investor realizes that 2,000 of this 3,000 has not been earned and so gives it back. It's just that the entries are reversed. We gave the $2,000 back to the issuing corporation before the issuing corporation gave us the $3,000. Well, this concludes our video and I hope this has been helpful to you.